Welcome back everybody, Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. We have to show that these three vectors here lie on the same plane or they are coplanar. So the way it looks visually, we got to show that these three vectors, let's say this is a vector A, this is vector B, and then this one is vector C. We got to show that all three vectors are going to be coplanar or they lie on the same plane. And we went over how to do this in lecture videos. The way you do that is you want to show that one of the vectors can be written as a linear combination of the others. So let's show that uh, if we take a constant m, multiply it by vector a plus a constant n, multiplied by vector b, so 0, negative 1, and 1, we can get this vector here, negative 3, 14, and 7. Now, we could have also switched this up, so we could have maybe even put this vector here, this vector over here. Personally, I like to take the vector with the biggest numbers and put it here, because then when you solve for that m and n, there's a smaller chance that you're going to be working with fractions. It's not guaranteed, but uh, it's a higher probability that these will be integers that you're working with. So now we have this set up. We can make three equations. So m times negative 1, that is negative m. n times 0 is just 0. And then this has to equal negative 3 m times 3, that is 3m, n times negative 1 is minus n, that has to equal 14, and then 4m plus n has to equal 7, right? So we got three equations, but we only have two unknowns. So we only have to pick two of the equations to solve for m and n, and then we have to show that it holds in the third equation. If it holds in the third equation, then all three vectors are coplanar. If it doesn't hold, then uh, they are not coplanar. So notice we're definitely going to use equation 1 because it's really easy to solve for m. We can just divide both sides by negative 1, and we know right away that m is just equal to 3. And then let's use, uh, let's use equation 2 to solve for this n value. So we got 3 times m, which we know is 3 up here, minus n is equal to 14. So we got 9 minus n is equal to 14. Let's bring the negative n over, bring the 14 over. We'll have 9 minus 14, so negative 5 equals n. So using equations 1 and 2, we solve for m being 3, and we solve for n equaling negative 5. And now we have to check whether these constants will hold for equation 3. So let's uh, write it over here. 4m plus n is equal to 7. So let's plug these in. So we got 4 times 3 and then plus n, which is just minus 5. So we got 12 minus 5, and that indeed equals 7, which is what we are trying to get to. And because this holds here, it means the vectors are coplanar. Or they span a plane in R3, or they lie on the same plane. So because we got to this point here, where these constants held with the third equation, we showed that the three vectors lie on the same plane.